Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. I got a quick question on my way to work. I'm not going to answer on my way to work. Uh, squeeze time for you guys. Oh shit, man. I'm using both my hands. Forgot I had to drive. Yeah, that's my protein shake. But anyway, um, uh, how long does protein sentences last, right? For my subs out there who are just as geeky as me and love the, the science and the details of bodybuilding. Um, how long does protein sentences muscle building uh, last for? Well, for those of you who don't know, uh, if a person stays, who doesn't train, doesn't do anything, every time they eat protein, uh, a protein-rich meal that's rich in the essential amino acids like leucine, valine, all that, all that good shit, protein sentences starts, and um, it, 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 can, it only lasts for up to maximum three hours, right? And I'm gonna explain that later on in more details. Uh, if a person, you know, it, it goes up, let's say this way, right? It goes up like this, right? And after three hours, no matter what happens, it always crashes, right? Usually it reaches a peak around two, two hours and then begins to go down. Past three hours is back to baseline, right? Then your body goes back into protein breakdown. A lot of people forget that your body's always doing, the, you know, either one of the two, either protein synthesis or protein breakdown. In fact, it's always doing both, but what really matters is the difference between the two, right? Protein breakdown is, the ne is negative, protein synthesis is positive. So you want the protein synthesis to be higher than the protein breakdown, right? So let's give those things numbers. Let's say protein synthesis goes up by 20 and protein breakdown goes up by 10. You have a, a, a positive balance of 10, so you're gonna build some kind of muscle, you know? That's, that's an oversimplified version of it. So that's a, a person that's not training. A person that trains, once he eats protein, even if he's fasting, a person that trains, even if he's fasting after training, yes, the protein breakdown is gonna be a little higher because he's fasting, he has no glucose, his body has to uh, use protein for gluconeogenesis and shit like that. But anyway, his protein, his protein breakdown is gonna be a little higher, right? But his protein synthesis is also gonna be a little higher because um, he trained. So he's gonna, a, fast, a faster trained person is gonna have higher uh, um, nitrogen balance, protein is balance than a fasted person who didn't train, right? Now, a person who just ate, right? He didn't train, he just ate, right? His protein sentence is gonna go, uh, obviously, you know, high. Once again, it's always around three hours, guys. After three hours, it's back to baseline. I looked at as many studies as possible. I looked in textbooks. I have at least three biochemistry textbooks at the house, different days, so I'm always looking at different sources. You never wanna look at just one source and be like, oh, this study said that, I'm done, right? A lot of my subscribers do that. You never wanna do that because you could come up with a study tomorrow that disproves a study that was good yesterday, right? There's so many different variables that come into play. The age of the subjects, their train status, things like that. So you gotta look at very different variables, right? And the more data you have, the more you can draw a, a good you know conclusion based on the averages so anyway now his, his work is crazy a person who trained so so far you know recap you know that if you eat even if you didn't train you just eat protein high protein meal the protein synthesis goes up you know which is pretty good if you train and you don't eat it still goes up just a little bit right now if you train and you eat all the fucking studies show and i, I love when they all agree on one thing they're all good when you train and eat um, immediately after training, your protein synthesis goes through the roof, man. The numbers are like fucking ridiculous, right? It goes high as fuck, and um, your protein breakdown, you know, doesn't really change as much. Sometimes your protein synthesis goes up by, by like fivefold. Some cases have been reported where post that's why people that say meal timing is irrelevant. I don't even try to argue with those guys, you know, because that, that's just that's just plain ignorance. But anyway, maybe they they don't know what I'm talking about. In fact, they don't. Uh, so it, it shoots, it goes through the fucking roof, right? And once again, how long does it last? After two hours, it peaks. Around three hours, it returns to baseline, right? And um, the scientists were amazed. They were like, why does this phenomenon happen, right? So um, what they tried to do was they tried to infuse protein into a person constantly throughout, you know, like uh, throughout the day to see what would happen. What would happen to protein synthesis if you just keep giving the person protein, right? If you keep giving the person food, will it stay up all day? And they found out, no. Even if you keep giving the person from zero grams of protein to like a whole bunch of protein, you just keep giving them protein every hour, every every whatever, non-stop infusion. After three hours, it still goes back to baseline, even though uh, the blood has more than, the, the cells have more than enough uh, amino acids. And um, there's different theories to explain why. One uh, one theory was that your body just, you know, if, and if it wasn't for that, you just grow forever. Your body has to find a way to balance everything out, remember? Uh, another theory was that, um, uh, uh, um, Protein centers, your body starts building muscle only when the concentration of protein in the blood changes, right? So when it goes from like zero to like a high number, then protein centers starts. And when it goes from high to just say high, nothing happens, then it stops. That was one other theory that was accepted for a while. A more recent theory was simply that after three hours, because a lot of people don't know that protein synthesis takes a lot of fucking energy, right? So another theory was that after three hours, uh, your AMPK levels begin to increase. Your, you know, your, your body has, you know, needs a lot of energy. So after three hours, it begins to uh, uh, your NPK levels go up, meaning your body 
you know, a lot of a lot of energy stress. Everybody has low energy status. Your cells do. So it, it puts. I'm gonna read about AMPK, right? When AMPK is high, your body puts a stop to everything that consumes a lot of energy in order to conserve energy. And protein synthesis is one of those crazy consumers of energy. So, so anyway, there's three different theories, but it doesn't fucking matter which theories, right? Uh, uh, the fact is, after three hours, no matter how much protein you ate, right? Even if you ate 300 grams of protein, they try those studies, right? After three hours, your protein synthesis is back to baseline. So you gotta, you know, have those. Uh, let that spike go up and down, and then refeed again, right? You could add a cup, uh, some a quick carb source. You could add more leucine, more protein. Doesn't matter, but you gotta have that. That thing. so anyway, I hope that answers your question. How long does protein synthesis last? It only lasts for you know three hours, three hours max, right? Average. Now, as far as the window after you train, I told you that when you train, you have like a, a greater capacity for protein synthesis. How long does that last? I already made a video about that. Twenty-four to forty-eight hours, right? Uh, depending on how long you've been training. The longer you've been training, the shorter that window is. But anyway, I hope this video helps. If it does, uh, uh, comment below, like, share, whatever, favorite, all that good shit. My likes are going up. I really appreciate that. And if you have more questions, inbox me. Hit me up on Facebook. Still waiting for the logos for the for the channel and the t-shirts and shit like that. So hit me up. I'm out. Oh, I almost forgot. I will give you everything. Look at that voice, guys. Just make my dreams come true. Look at this, look bit. at this. Fucking beautiful. Yeah. Now I'm not saying no homo, that shit is gorgeous. Look at that. <laughs> look at the delts. Been working on Show them the triceps, show them the triceps, show them the triceps. Triceps, that's not too bad. And yes, guys, all, everyone's asking me, is you on the juice? All natty, no. guys, all natty. Guys, Just eat. People don't want to fucking eat. All you gotta eat. do, eat, train, and sleep. It's eat, three train, simple yeah. ingredients.